Pete Gluzak here, Bass University TV. I'm here with my friend Paul Mueller, fresh off of his win on the Bassmasters Elite Lake Lanier. Thank you, man. Good to see you, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, anytime you can, you know, finesse fish, multiple spinning rods on the deck, that's my type of fishing. So, <laughs> me too. Me too, I man. Love I it. always have the spinning rod out. Yeah, you know, it's the product, you're a product of your environment. You know, we both are Northeast guys, and, you know, you fish a spinning rod a lot. You know, I mean, it's one of those things where, you have to learn to adapt, and, and a lot of times we use little baits and, and that little wimpy rod, but uh, it catches big fish. So I think you can make a bait do some things differently with a spinning rod, because guys try to force using that bait caster because they're so comfortable with it. But I can just make the baits do better things with a spinning rod sometimes. There's no question. I mean, when you're fishing a spinning rod, you're using lighter line. And the mm. thing with light line, it gets more bites, but what it does is it gives the bait better action. So that's the whole key is just having you know, lighter line, better presentations, and you know, sometimes you need to do that to get bit. Yeah. Well, you also got bit big at the Classic. You still have the record for the heaviest five bass ever weighed in in a Bassmaster Classic. What was that bag? Uh, 32 pounds, three ounces. 32 pounds. Yeah, that was a good day of fishing for sure. <laughs> that's, that's an amazing day of fishing. So obviously, you know, you're, um, you're great at this. You're especially great at finesse fishing because of your environment. You fish on Candlewood Lake, you guide there a lot. Uh, we're gonna talk about a finesse technique that you you too have started to exploit. Uh, it's called the Ned Rig. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's funny that Ned Rig is, is, it's taken the world by storm. And you know, there's certain times of the year where I feel like a Ned Rig really excels. And, and for, for my region up by on Candlewood Lake, one of the best times to fish a Ned Rig is in the pre-spawn. We have to use small baits, whether it's a small swim bait, a little spider grub, a hair jig. Um, a Ned Rig fits right into that lineup of baits. Um, it's just, there's something about a small profile bait that works on those cold water pre-spawn fish. Now the thing with a Ned Rig is it kind of fits the same deal as a hair jig. You fish it in the same type of places, you fish it slow, and it's that small profile that gets bit. Ned Rig kind of started with a worm but now you're seeing crawfish style baits. And I feel like there's a time and place for both, um, depending on the lake that you're fishing. You know, there's certain lakes I feel like when they're keying in on bait fish, where I feel like a, a worm is, will outfish a crawfish style deal. And if there's crawfish present, I really like a crawfish style bait in those situations. Well, let's talk about that. There, you know, we're starting to see some different uh, profiles, some different shapes that are built for a Ned Rig uh, presentation and Range has got a couple. Well, show, yeah, they do. They, you know, the show me first and foremost, with. when you're thinking of Ned Rig fishing, uh, you want a bait that is that's buoyant, so that it stands up on a jig, whether it's a worm or a craw. And a lot of the Range baits are buoyant material, and so when you put a bait like it's Mike Iaconelli. This is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. And that's why you want to check out Bass U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV.